Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and I have a little bit of a mail haul today, mail call, whatever you want to call it. I received two packages in the mail today. One I was not expecting at all, and I'm super excited to dig into it. Right now, Venus is enjoying rubbing herself all over the box, <laughs> so I'll give her a little more time to enjoy that and show you guys the other item, because I did open that already because I knew what it was. If you're not aware, Disney has an a um, club you can join. It's like Disney Movie Rewards, I think is what they still call it. That was what they originally called it. They might have changed the name. But basically, in a nutshell, when you purchase any Disney DVDs, um, CDs, uh, digital movies, I think you can get points for now. You can accrue points. And when you accrue the points, you can cash them out for special goodies. And they have, on Wednesdays, they have a Wednesday win. And there's usually one or two items that are discounted just for that day. And they usually sell out so, 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 so quickly. And um, I'm very fortunate when I'm able to get in on one if it's something that I happen to like. So this one was from, I believe, two or three weeks ago. And it was a Funko Pop. And it is The Mandalorian. But... It is not just the Mandalorian, you guys. It is the Valentine's Day Mandalorian. How stinking cute is this? I don't know if you can see. I don't want you to see my reflection. But if you can see, let me see if I can get this to zoom. The little card actually says, To Grogu Love Mando. Is that not the most precious thing you have ever seen in your life? I can't even deal with it. It is so stinking cute. And there are apparently three others in the series, but they were not offered on Disney Movie Rewards. You can get Grogu with the cookies, Luke Skywalker with Grogu, the Mandalorian, or Ashoka. And honestly, I love them all. I wish they would get the rest because this is such a fun set. It's so kawaii with them being pink, and I just think they're so stinking adorable. So I'm thrilled to have this one. I just think it's precious. So that was the one box that I knew what it was. This box I cut open and it has some pink tissue paper. It's like the theme is like pretty and pink today. I'm going to give this to Venus. We're going to actually put it on her and see. No, you're not your brother. If that was Sydney, he probably would have walked around with that on him until it fell off. Like... He, he doesn't get bothered by things like that. <laughs> She's whining now. Oh my gosh. I see like little miniatures. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Here's a little card. There was no return address on here that I recognized. So I have no idea who this is from. But whoever it is, I, I actually said to Brian when I opened it, wow, whoever this is has like really beautiful penmanship. Like that's perfect. I wish my handwriting was that nice. Let's see what it says. I'm so excited. Okay. Of course, I'm getting this card out left-handed. So forgive me because that is not my dominant hand. Carry happy random acts of kindness. Day 217. Enjoy all the tiny things. Love, Jess. Oh, my God, Jess. You are so fucking awesome. I remember on Halloween, we, my husband and I, were staying at a hotel in the city. Long story, but basically I had issues with the previous stay at another hotel in that chain. I wrote and complained. They gave us enough points that we were able to get an entirely comp tonight in this beautiful hotel in New York City. So we went to Bryant Park and we trick-or-treated and then we stayed at the hotel. And when we got back to the hotel on this ginormous TV set, Brian um, was able to get it hooked up to like Facebook and, you know, all different things. I don't remember if he brought our fire stick or if it was enabled already. But long story short, we were watching our friend Jess unboxing some amazing little miniatures. And look, at she sent them to me. I'm so excited. I mean, I literally was like in awe of these things. Okay, this is... Let me get that out of there. This even has prices and items on it. Wait, let me see if I can get this to focus. Are you kidding me? The details of these. I went and bought a few packs of these after Jess's unboxing video because I thought they were so fucking cute. Why can't I get this to focus? Fuck my life. Seriously? Okay. Basically, you can kind of tell. 
that there are little barcodes on there on the shelves and it is a little shelf that you can put your baby products on okay that's better that is so cute oh my gosh is that a drawer at the bottom or is that just like no 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 it's just the front of it okay um i worked in retail enough in the past that i remember setting up things like this i actually opened one two three different stores like literally was there before they opened put the shit together stocked out the shelves uh, my very first job was doing that um i also did that subsequently for a mall version of fao schwartz and then later for um a builder bear workshop so i remember putting together like shelving like this and i love the detail of that but then we've got inside here We've got this Wacky Packages Minis. Now, these I have not purchased yet. I have purchased the other version. And um, I have some of them. I can't really get to them right now. But um, it's another company makes a similar type of thing. But Wacky Packages, I have been collecting Wacky Packages since I was a little girl. I remember going with Lori Bruska. I'm shouting you out, Lori, if you're watching this. Lori Bruska and I used to go home on the bus together for play dates, and right across this big street from her apartment was this store called The Card Party. I still even remember the name of the store, and we would get to go to The Card Party and buy wacky packages and candy and gum, and we had the best time. And seriously, to this day, when I think of wacky packages and Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker and the song Funky Town. All of those three things remind me of you, Lori, if you're by any chance watching this, because I remember slathering on that giant, the biggie lip smacker, Dr. Pepper in her house, rocking out to Funky Town, lip sync on the, um, the 45 record and going through our wonderful purchases from the card party. So I do collect the stickers, but I've never owned these minis before. So I am so excited there are 3d wacky packages and authentic mini stickers so let's see what's in here <clears throat> on top we have ah oh, here's the sticker campy soup instead of campbell's obviously and that's right inside the little top that is so freaking cute and he looks so devious like this guy looks like somebody from a cartoon like a bad guy i can't think of who but i love that that is so cute. And then inside we have all kinds of goodies. So let's see what little guys we have in here. Ah, I'm so excited, Jess. You made my whole day. All right. So some of these I saw her unbox. Some of them I did not. So look at this Heinz yellow mustard. How fun is that? I mean, it's got this specific like calorie count and the ingredients and all that on the back. The details they put into these things. Oh my gosh. Does the lid actually open? That would be killer. No, it doesn't. I don't think. I don't want to break it. But still, that is so insanely cute. Like, everything miniaturized is just fascinating to me. I love it. And then we've got checklists, so that's cool. Next up, we have these Rivals instead of Ruffles. Rivals have Rumbles. They do. Potato chips for crazed fans. Best when served hot. Feel your competitive nature. That is so cool. I love these. I'd never seen these before in person. The horrid, oh yes, horrid spray deodorant. I mentioned her to her specifically at one point that I did actually see her open this because I mentioned that the horrid reminded me of someone and I can't share this story. It is not for public knowledge because it's about someone in my family. <laughs> But Jess, remind me and I will tell you privately the story that this one I said, if you were not attached to your horrid, please, 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 I would love it to have it so much. So I will tell Jess that story again. I wish I could tell you guys. Look at the little tiny spray nozzle. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Sorry my nails are not done or whatever, but I've been lazy lately. I have to get my shit together. I gotta shave my legs and do the nails and all that stuff okay next we have milk drones so the little doggy treats obviously a parody of milk bones i'm not going to read you every little thing on every little label because we'll be here for three hours but that is stinking cute captain crud <laughs> i actually like captain crunch cereal a lot inside real pirate Ooh, tastes cruddy even in milk well 
yeah, you you won me. I'm actually more of a Crunch Berry girl than the actual Captain Crunch, but that is too cool. And then you get this little tiny Gadzuka parody of Bazooka Bubblegum. And I used to chew this shit like a mad woman. Look at how it has the little folds. And I like that these are made plastic. Like there's not a lot of paper on them. It's um, the other brands uh, tends to have a little more paper, a little more plastic. It's not like hard plastic. You'll see what I mean in a minute because I see some of those guys in there too. And those are the ones that I have purchased. These actually feel more substantial. These wacky packages ones. I really, really like that. And then we've got the, um, the checklist to collect them all. Now this may be, that one's the wacky packages. Is this one go with the wacky packages? Probably. Or is this the other type? Um, 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 this might be, oh, these are for like little miniatures. Okay. These are for like the world's smallest. I think I have some of these too, um, that I purchased in another bag. Sorry. I know this is a horrible view. I'm just trying to get this open so you can kind of get a look at some of these classic collectible mini toys they're electronic they actually work there's all kinds of stuff that goes with that you can get mini video games hot wheels i know that jess unboxed a um a mini hot wheel the other day and she mentioned that she had someone very special in mind to give that to and i know exactly who it is so i'm very excited because i know she will be over the moon and love it um so we have that checklist in there so i don't know if there's any miniatures in this box and then we have the wacky packages i mean obviously these are all miniatures i think you get what i mean and then this is for the series one i don't so hard when I don't appear on camera and I could set this up on a tripod but I'm still in my PJs my hair while clean I did wash it last night I went to bed with it wet and it dried like so crazy pants it looks ridiculous so I didn't want to appear on camera today so I'm kind of trying to record with my dominant hand and do all the other things with my non-dominant hand so it's not working out super great but okay here is the old school checklist for the world's smallest so that the world's smallest brand actually makes these too okay so that does go with this okay so i didn't realize what the company was that made these but here they are so you can mark off your list with all the ones that you've got and the colors generally mean how um rare they are so i don't know which are more rare if it's the red checked ones or the yellow or the orange but there are 66 to collect in all and then here is the back i know you can't really see that super well i'm just trying to see if it i can find where it indicates this is just a little intro to the origins of wacky packages so you can pause that and read it if you'd like but, um, yeah, they've released Wacky Packages stickers many times. They were also called Wacky Packs at one point, too. Um, they've released the stickers. There's so many editions of them. I have a few of my old school ones, I think, from the 80s. But most are, you know, later editions. But that is so great. So I'm going to check my little guys off later. So those all go nice and handily inside this little package even nicer if I was taking the time to do it properly but I'm not but then we've got this adorable shelf and look at all of these fun goodies in here I'm just gonna pour them out I think Vivi's left so we don't have to worry about her getting into stuff oh my gosh look at all these goodies Jess you are so awesome this makes me so happy you don't even know this makes my whole day all right so this one here is a different type of display case. It's even got the 50% mark down and then you can put little products in here as well as on the shelving units. And then look at these cute little paper grocery bags. See, I didn't get any of these with the sets that I bought. I got a wheeled shopping cart and I think I might've gotten a hand basket too. I'll do a video of all of the collection that I have of these. I'm trying not to buy them too often because I'm running out of space for things. Although, honestly, if you're going to collect something, this is so small and so cute. It's not terribly hard to find room for. But these are like the storage container type things that you would put your groceries in or on. And then we've got all of these groceries. And then we have the checklist here as well. So we can check that out. But um, I'm just going to quickly go through each one. We've got the Fridays jalapeno poppers 
And see, this is just cardboard. Doesn't mean it's not adorable, but it's not as substantially made as, say, the wacky packages, Captain Crud, that it's actually paper or sticker over plastic. So just to give you a comparison, the uh, wacky packages ones are a little more substantial, but there are ones in this series, um, in this type of toy that are very substantial too. It just depends. Like for example, this one here, um, the Hershey syrup, this is plastic. So that is definitely really well made too. And again, like the other brands, you get the details on the back of like the nutrition and things like that. I just, I can't even get over how adorable these are. This, like literally, if this was all that was in the box, I'd be over the moon. Because when Jess opened this, I just flipped out. And it's so much nicer in person. It's like you can actually feel like the little individual hot dogs in here. It's little Oscar Mayer wieners. It is so cute. So the difference primarily... Other than, you know, how substantially they're made is that the wacky packages are intended to be parodies of products, whereas these are miniature replicas of the actual product. So it's not called, you know, Oscar the Grouch Wieners, say, you know, it's Oscar Meyer Wieners. It's the true brand's name, which is so cool. And then the other ones just have the funny things like Captain Crud instead of Captain Crunch. And I love them both equally because they both have their their positives. Look at this Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh. Is this turkey? I think this is turkey. Oven roasted turkey breast. I mean, look at all of the details. If you could actually read that small, which I cannot, such fine details to that. I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm putting some of these on the shelving units that um, are easy to do. Okay. Decline scam phone call. Don't interrupt my video. Okay, then we have this Tapaccio Salsa Picante Hot Sauce. So cute. See, I'm kind of trying to set them up cutely over here on the little racks and stuff. Oh, they're adorable, but I'm not going to do that because that's going to make it take even longer. And I don't know why my focus keeps going in and out. I apologize. We'll go quickly through the rest of these. We have this one, Dose and Company. And what is that product? collectible is that coffee does that say colombian something why the hell oh no collagen i can't read that collagen collagen creamer is that what that says collagen okay oh it's creamer okay so i guess the collagen is just the word for it um in another language but it's vanilla creamer for your coffee i've never heard of this company before delicious and nutritious nothing suspicious i love that then we have these Jolly Ranchers, and there are several like this, where there's basically like foam inside, and then it's wrapped in the plastic. But this is the Fruity Bash Hard, Ra Hard Jolly Rancher Hard Candies. Then we have another one that's that type. Ooh, the Chupa Chups, best of. I love Chupa Chups in real life. They're so yummy. Okay, then we have the Classico Creamy Alfredo. Ah, I have a Jess hair. I should treasure that forever. Or actually, no, I don't think that's a Jess head hair. I think that's one from one of her kitties, which is very exciting, actually, because she's a kitty mom like me. Um, this is the Classico Creamy Alfredo. Then we have another one that's that soft, like, um, foam inside with the Mr. Good Bar candy bar. I love Mr. Good Bar. So delicious. Then we have a Zatarin's Jambalaya. And this one is just basically cardboard. It's like a little empty cardboard container, but it's so stinking cute. We have another one of the creamers. So adorable. We've got a stovetop stuffing in turkey flavor. We have another Hershey syrup. I may have to, if I ever get to 2,500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. That's been my plan for like the past year. We're not even close yet, but um, I will include the duplicates of these in there if that's something you guys would enjoy having. I have all kinds of ideas planned of what to include in my giveaway, but um, I could certainly include the dupes of those so you guys can check these out for yourself. Then we have Flavor Ice Ice Pops. I love them too. This is so cute. We have the Cool Whip. I love that. I love it. I love it. And these, I tend to prefer the plastic ones because they just look more real to me. 
And that's been the case with the ones that I've purchased too. I've gotten some that are the plastic and some that are more of the paper, like just the cardboard boxes or the foamy kind, but they're also adorable. That's just me being, you know, expressing a preference. Then we've got the Velveeta original. I do apologize that this focus keeps going out. Next time will be better, I promise. Oh God, my nails have horrible ridges. Please ignore my fingernails, even though I keep mentioning them. We have the Warheads all mixed up, little candies. And again, this is one of the soft packages. We have two of these wonderful McCormick black peppers. And again, these are the plastic type. And you can even oh, look at the cover where you can see the different types, you know, the, the two ways you can open it to pour. I love the details. They're just so stinking adorable. I mean, come on. Just so cute. And last but certainly not least, we have the Friday's Buffalo Style Chicken Wings. And then here is the checklist for this one. Let's see. I'm not sure if Jess checked these already. She might have. Um... <clears throat> But these, it's much more clear which ones are the rares because you can see here on the collector's guide, there are gold ones. There are glow in the dark. That would be cool to get. I think I might have one gold in the ones that I purchased. Yes, yeah, she did check off these items already. Perfect. You saved me a step, girl. Thank you. There's the metallics. There are the commons. And that's going to be most of them, as is the case with any collectibles like these. And then on the back, you've got a lot more of the commons. Just kind of quickly going through them as best I can. I want that Pez dispenser so badly. I love Pez. I collect Pez dispensers too. What a shocker. And... Um, to have the mini of that would be so rad. I would love that. Okay, and there, here tells you, okay, so there's super rares, rares, collector's case exclusives, 24-pack exclusive, mini mart exclusive, and then it shows you the accessories. So you can see here where we've got the, oh, okay, there's two different sizes of those creamers. I see that now. Do we have, okay, so we have two of the same size, but yeah, there's a small one and a larger one. So she even marked it. There were two. I love you, Jess. You are like, you know, retentive in the way that I am. And I just love that about you, among other things. Okay, so you get the little paper sacks. This is this, the cart that I, I think I have both of these carts. So I can add those. I'll just work off of Jess's checklist because I never marked mine yet. And then the only like extra accoutrements that I don't have yet are the scale because this I got from Jess today and this I got from Jess today and then this sign. But I think I have everything else. So that's pretty cool as far as the containers, you know, displays, what, what have you. So this is all of the wonderful goodies I received from Jess today. And then I got my Mando from Disney Movie Rewards. This was an awesome mail day and I wasn't expecting anything. I didn't get notification from Disney that my package was coming today and typically I do. Um, actually, I get a tracking number and I have to then subsequently follow up on it and I haven't been. But um, I love, love, love that you sent me these, Jess. Oh my gosh, you are an actual angel. Jess is such a wonderful friend. I adore her. So I'm really, really stoked and I apologize for the quality of this video, but I hope you guys will still, you know, still find a way to enjoy it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. It's starting to rain here in New York. It's about 2.30 on Tuesday, and I am just chilling today. I am not planning on even getting out of my pajamas, to be perfectly blunt. I'm just going to relax, maybe do some crafting. At some point today, I should be getting some more photos delivered from Amazon that I had printed because I've been working on scrapbooking again, and I'm going to add some to my junk journals. I haven't really been using a lot of photographs in there, so I want to do that. Maybe do some beading. We'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye.